Hello everyone, welcome to Larafant. My name is William. In this video, I would like us to look at how we can be able to work with calculated fields in Filament PHP. So I have a form here which we have an invoices resource and we have a form that is able to create a row within an invoice. So in this case, we have name quantity, unit price, and then the total price. The total price will be found by multiplying the quantity by the unit price. And so at the end of everything, this field is supposed to be a calculated field. So let us see how we can be able to um, make it calculated. So this is um, the form schema that I have. We have the text input for the name. We have text input for quantity, it's numeric. And I've also set it to live on blur. And then we also have the text input for unit price. And I've also set it to live on blur. So basically, that is how our form looks like. And so I would like us to have a method that you will be doing our multiplication. And so we are going to have public static uh, function. And we are going to call it calculate totals. And um, maybe the return type, we can uh, have it as void to return nothing. And then after that, we can uh, pass in the instance of uh, the filament form get. So get, uh, get. And basically what this one does, it can be able to get us any input value from within the form that we are working with. I will also uh, get use set. And set enables us to be able to put a value in a field, in an input field. So for example, the calculate, I mean the total price, in this case, you will be able to use set to, to do it. And I need to import those uh, two uh, things above here. So we have filament forms get above here, uh, use filament forms get and use filament, filament form set. And so after that, we can be able to go ahead and calculate the totals. And what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is to just uh, set the total price. And then the value of the total price will be given by, we will get the value of um, the quantity. And then we will multiply that value by the value of um, the unit price. So again, get unit underscore price that way. And that basically will do the calculation for us. And then now we need to instantiate or call that method. So I will call it twice inside quantity and inside on the quantity input and on the unit price input. So here we are going to have after state updated. So in other words, it will be checking immediately after these values have been um, changed. And so I want us to have a function and we will still pass in get and set. And then inside um, that function, we can now be able to call our method self calculate, calculate totals. And then we can pass in uh, get and set like that. We need a comma there. So basically, that is what we have here. And I also need to do the same for the unit price. So I'll just paste the same thing. And I think that one um, is able to assist us to solve the issue. So now if we have a value that we want to have in the input in, in the invoice, for example, the price of nails in the quantity, we have uh, 25 and uh, probably the unit price is um, 25 again we can have our total price as 625. So as you can see, the values are being calculated perfectly and we can now decide to go ahead and 
uh, hit create to be able to save it in our database. So basically that is how you can be able to do calculated fields in filament php if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for following this video up until this point